Hi everyone, welcome to Data Music Webinars. We're here to talk about one of the most important topics that we have on the planet at the moment. No, it's not COVID-19, but yes, it is a direct outcome of COVID-19. Now, Music Webinars is a new platform that has been formed by Steve and Hamish, and it's absolutely brilliant. Reason being is music matters. And I want you to say that after me for anyone who's listening out there, whether it's now in real time or, you know, subscription time, music matters. Whatever you can do to support music industry, please do. Whether it's live gigs, working in the industry or doing other things, doesn't matter. Just go for it. Well, today we're going to talk to a fabulous young lady. I've known this young lady for most of my working life, which has been a bloody hell of a long time, but she's not that old. Lisa J. Aston came to me as a performer, a singer, a songwriter dedicated to contemporary live music. And in that particular space that she came to me in, I was able to assist Lisa later on in working at the top end of the Australian music industry and the top end of the international contemporary music industry. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the fabulous Lisa J. Aston, songwriter, singer, performer extraordinaire. Thank you. Hi, Kathy. So Lisa, Thank welcome. you so much. Hi. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, Hamish and Steve and Kathy, so much for having me today. I'm, I'm truly, truly honoured. Thank you. That's cool. No worries. We're really happy to have you here. I want to talk about the little girl, the little girl inside Lisa. You were um, always, you always told me of this vision that you always had and it came to pass. Tell me about the five-year-old Lisa and the vision you had oh. for music. Okay. Um, I think that, um, I'll say from the outset, I think that you kind of know as a child what you what you want to do, what's really in your heart. And I think mm. you forget that as you get older. But for me, it was all about music. I loved music, um, no matter what it was. And um, I would walk around singing and what have you. And my two biggest things in life as a child were I wanted to be a singer or a vet. And I think that's pretty par for the course for most young girls. But for me, it was really um, a, a light, a very strong direction. And um, I lived with four adults in an apartment in Sydney. So um, I got to listen to their albums and their music. And um, my granddad bought me a plastic guitar. And um, <laughs> ironically... Uh, yeah, and I would play this guitar and sing, and I'm pretty sure I sounded pretty bad. But the the one person that sat and listened to me was my great grandfather, who was absolutely stone deaf, and everybody else was too. Busy. He was deaf. I mean, profoundly deaf. But I would sing for ages to him, making up words and whatever, and he just thought I was wonderful. And somehow, even then. I was one of those sort of old children, you know, like maybe growing up mm. with adults caused it, but I was an older child and I knew he could hear me. Even though consciously I knew he was deaf, I knew somehow he could hear me and I'd keep asking him, did he want me to play more songs? And he'd say, yes, I, uh, yes, yes, love this, love this. So um, I just kind of knew that music was always there and I was writing and writing and writing, coming up with words. I'm pretty sure I didn't know what they meant. But there was always a song and a poetry and music behind that. Um, so I wanted to play piano desperately. But living in an apartment, I don't think in those days there were electric pianos or portable pianos. So in the top unit in an apartment block in Bellevue Hill, you were not going to get a piano up there for a five-year-old. So strings was the go. And my mum said to me something very important in reflection. She said, if you can play the strings, you can play anything. So um, she channeled me into violin, which, of course, I hated because <laughs> I wanted to play piano. But she was right. <laughs> she was absolutely right. Um, and through my life, you know, I then continued to teach myself six string guitar, bass guitar, can play anything, anything in the world. So, um, yeah, that that for me was always the start 
uh, from being five years old, music was just everywhere. It was just everywhere. 